Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. I haven't posted a video in a couple of weeks, it, which isn't like me. Normally it's every single Sunday, but it has been a weird few weeks. It has been super, super busy because we have left Berkshire, uh, where we were staying throughout the whole of lockdown when we got back from India with Joe's parents, and we are now back in London, which is really exciting. It, it took about three weeks, I think, to do the move, which sounds crazy, but I I think because we didn't want to just kind of pack our bags and leave we really wanted to slowly do it so Joe bless him has been kind of over the last couple of weeks slowly bringing more and more things in um so we're here so this is Joe's flat um I have never lived here he has only ever lived here for like I don't know six months when we first met and it feels really nice to be back in town like things obviously aren't back to normal yet but kind of being back in London uh, it feels like we're getting our lives back a little bit like slowly but surely and um, we've seen friends in parks and in their gardens and things like that which has been so lovely because we literally went for like the whole of lockdown like everyone without seeing any of our friends and um, because we were out in Berkshire where we know no one <laughs> and uh, we did that having come back from India since January so this year so far has just been bizarre to say the least for everyone not just us obviously like literally just it's just the weirdest thing um but oh, what's that I think Joe made an iced coffee and then left it maybe it's for me I don't know um, I'm not going to do like a flat tour right now. I might do one a bit later um, Just because we've just had loads of deliveries arrive and it's a mess. We've got boxes everywhere um, So I might do that a bit later, but today's going to be really really nice because I am going to be asking my dearest bestest oldest friend Charlotte to be my chief bridesmaid and I am so excited I've had like little um, wooden plaque things made um, with my bridesmaids names on them with the date of the wedding and saying bridesmaid and or flower girl for Daisy May and um, so I asked my cousins uh, a couple of days ago and they are absolutely over the moon and today I'm asking Charlotte herself to be chief bridesmaid so I'm going to go and meet her in Kensington Gardens in Hyde Park um, and we're going to have a nice little picnic, take some champagne. Haven't seen her since the beginning of January and it's now like mid to end of July. So that's a long time to not see your best friend. So yeah, really, really looking forward to today. Oh, I feel like I need to speak about what we're doing in London because I think I mentioned it in a previous video that I am moving here and that Freddie's going to be our flatmate Joe's brother but lots of people were commenting saying so what's going on like because I literally didn't explain it I was just like yeah so in a couple of weeks we're moving to London but I just completely forgot to explain kind of what's going on with our lives um a lot's happened we unfortunately will not be going back to India we have been absolutely gutted like I can't even describe how tough really like the first few weeks of lockdown were because we had to you know make that really difficult decision to come back to the uk at the very beginning of lockdown um which you know in hindsight we know absolutely was the right thing to do like we had to be back here with our families um, but at the time it felt like a really difficult decision um because we obviously didn't want to leave india we absolutely loved it and i mean i'd never been to india before moving there and i felt like it was almost like as soon as i got off the plane sounds so weird to say it but it felt felt like home like I really felt like India embraced us and we felt so welcomed and I think it's all down to the people um we met some incredible friends um friends that I really really hope we can one day go and see again and we would love to go back to India um but obviously I spoke a lot about this in our video where we announced that we were moving to India about why we were going there. So if you want a bit more <laughs> background information, I'll link that down below or something. So go and check that out. Um, be a bit weird watching it now because we were super, super excited for this adventure that lay, that was ahead. And we thought we were going to be out there for about a year or two or more. Like who knew we, that we had no end date. Um, but Joe's job was um, working for the IPL, um, for the Rajasthan Royals team, which was obviously cancelled. Um, so effectively, there is there is no IPL, there is no job for Joe, which is why we had to make that really difficult decision to come back. And yeah, 
I mean, at the time, we, to be honest, we didn't know what the future held. I don't think anyone did at the beginning of lockdown. No one knew how long it was going to go on for. And we actually left loads of our stuff in our apartment out there in Mumbai um, because we just thought we'd be going back in a few weeks time. Um, but obviously so much has happened since then. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's been a really weird few weeks to be honest for both of us kind of coming to terms with it. I think mainly the psychology of it when you psych yourself up to move abroad and you, you know it's a very scary experience and we, ha we moved out of our house in London we had a leaving party we said goodbye to all of our friends and family packed up our bags our furniture was in storage here in the UK like it was a proper operation I suppose and um kind of getting out there and instantly falling in love with it and met so many friends um I felt so at home and I was genuinely so excited for what the next few months held for both of us um and we were newly engaged uh, in december so that, that that this year was meant to be probably the most exciting year of our lives um so going from that mindset to then suddenly overnight ha everything changed and we booked a flight to come home um, one e late evening, I think it was about 10 p.m. and we had to get on that flight the next morning because it was the last one from Mumbai to get back to the UK. Uh, we literally got the last two tickets. It was crazy, like you just you can't make it up. Um, so I think psychologically, we've kind of gone through a lot together. Definitely made us stronger as a couple and as individuals, um, this whole experience, as I'm sure it has for so many people because this, pandemic has affected so many lives in so many different ways and in a way you know I can't really complain because health is the most important thing and we are so so grateful that we're okay and our families are okay and that's all that matters it's just been a bit strange mentally um coming to terms with not going back to India and knowing that our apartment's there and our stuff is still there it's just very strange um so yeah, I, I felt like I just needed to give a little explanation. We're going to be in London for who knows how long. Uh, we're, we're thinking maybe like 18 months in London and our wedding is next year. So um, we're just, you know, super busy planning all of that, which has been amazing. That has really been the silver lining, I think, of lockdown, being able to plan our wedding together completely equally. And just, we've really, really loved that. Um, so yeah. Here we are in London in Joe's flat with his brother for a year or two years. Who knows? One thing I've realized probably from lockdown is that you just cannot plan too much in advance because <laughs> you just can't plan your life like that because <laughs> evidently it, sometimes it doesn't work out how you thought it would, but there you go. So I have just got to Kensington Gardens. Kensington Palace is just like behind me over there. You might be able to see the gates. And I've got this little picnic blanket all set up. I've just run into Whole Foods to get a few little snacky bits. I've got like, I'll show you in a minute when it's all out, but look at this. I'll show you the little plaque thing that I had made. So I've just got some strawberries and olives here. I've got more food in the bag. And this is what I had made chief bridesmaid so charlotte's bringing the champers that was her her duty for today she's bringing the champers um so i'll pass her this glass so i'm just gonna hide it before she gets her oh thanks for getting the champers oh, girl pleasure oh this is so lovely oh. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> did you see that coming <laughs> I'm very emotional right oh, now. Oh god. Of course I will be your bridesmaid. Chief bridesmaid. That is so <laughs> sweet. Thank you so much. Of course oh. I will be your bridesmaid. Did you see it? Were you, was it a case of waiting for me to ask? Like, are you, were you like, why hasn't she asked me yet? Um, I No, I was like, is it going to be children only? Because oh. we did once discuss it. Um, sometimes people just have children at their wedding as bridesmaids. Yeah, but we always told each other that we would be Anna's <laughs> friends. Wait, I've got a card for you as well. Oh my goodness, no. Okay. Can I read it? Can yeah. I hold this? Yeah, of this is... <laughs> that was so well done. Yeah, I found the whole thing. <laughs> I've been so excited. Obviously, every time we've spoken on the phone, I've wanted to like talk all about it to you. Yeah. But I wanted to wait until we were together. Yeah, so I'm glad we waited. So yeah, it wouldn't have been the same on Zoom. <laughs> 
I know. That you introduced me yeah. to. Oh my god, I didn't even write that in the yeah, card. Exactly. I'm only getting married because of you. <laughs> How did I forget that? <laughs> you wouldn't be here today if it yeah. was. I would not be here today. Oh, god cheers. Knows. Cheers. That is so... No, you always do everything so well. Oh, You're like, quick, have to shout now. I was like, what? Yeah. It was so lovely seeing Charlotte. I think she really appreciated me asking her to be my chief bridesmaid and we had such a lovely catch up. I basically came back, Joe came picked me up from um, the park and basically crashed out here and fell asleep. <laughs> drinking champagne during the day. I always fall asleep, like daytime drinking, I'm literally just gone. Um, so I've just been asleep and I feel so dazed. You know when you fall asleep in the day and you're just like, what's going on? I think I was only asleep for like half an hour or something. Um, but Joe has been busy kind of getting the flat all looking nice. He's been putting furniture together and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you really, really quickly like the layout of the flat, I suppose. So this is what's behind me. If I come over here in the corner, you'll be able to get a proper view of it. So... This is our living room area. It's very boyish, I suppose, at the moment. Um, Joe has kind of moved the sofa around to how it was and he set up these shelves and stuff. But all, like, all of this artwork is Freddy's. Um, this is the only touch that I've <laughs> added so far and the plants. Um, so I think we might need to kind of rearrange. There is also a really lovely little terrace out here. Not a lot going on out there at the moment. Oh, and my favourite part, so I love this table and the two benches that Joe bought. And this is our kitchen. I absolutely love all of this. This is the first thing I did when we got here on Monday. I spent a good hour sorting out all of these jars and labelling them. So we've got all of my ingredients here and my herbs and spices. So I'm completely obsessed with that. And then I think it's really dark through here. Um, if we go up here this is just the hallway that's the front door right here and through here we've got freddie's bedroom there our kind of shoe shelf thing here um oh and then there was another kind of there's a bathroom there like the main bathroom then through here is our bedroom hey joey <laughs> still tidying still tidying oops still this isn't like an official flat tour or anything. <laughs> oh dear. This is just like quickly showing everyone around. I love these. This is the first present I think I ever bought Joe. It's of Bridget Bardot. And I just loved it because I thought it kind of looked like us. <laughs> so yeah, there's still a lot to do. Um, but I really like this bedroom. This is our little plant rugby area and then over here this is like our unofficial <laughs> engagement photo that we had done in the garden in Berkshire I think it's quite cute and then that's my David Downton illustration that Joe bought me in 2016 I think and you can see the terrace through there there we go. This is my plant that I had in Notting Hill. Don't know if anyone remembers my plants from my lovely little flat in Notting Hill, but um, he hasn't quite done so well during lockdown. I still feel so sleepy. Um, so we're gonna go on a little wander, a bit of a walk, just to wake up a little bit, stretch our legs, because I have been sat down in a park all day, and um, maybe get some food. I don't think we're going to cook, too tired to cook, so I think we're just gonna um, find some food on our way back. Yeah. Maybe some burgers, I think. <laughs> Joe's last bit of DIY for this Saturday. <laughs> and we love these chimneys out here. You can't really see on the camera, but the sky's gone this amazing purple color. You can see it a bit more there. Wow. Yeah, we love all these chimneys. <laughs> this is our view. <laughs> We are having the most amazing dinner tonight. I'm so excited. This is from Patty and Bun. They have these new vegan burgers. So it's like completely plant-based burger with a vegan bacon and vegan cheese. Um, rosemary chips. They're definitely generous with the chips. 
Uh, what else have we got? I think this was like a Chipotle mayo. And then these, Joe is super excited about them. They are vegan chicken nuggets. Is that yes. right? Yeah. And like are. a ketchup. Bang. And they're really good. And what movie are we watching? Um, a Rainy Day in New York with my boy Timothy Chalamet. Ooh, nice. I'm excited. First Saturday night in our flat. Oh. Oh. I'm so tired. I'm going to get ready for bed now. Sorry this video has been a bit nothingy. Like I don't really know what's happened in this video. Um, I've been really, really rubbish to be honest with um, videos the last couple of weeks just because it's been so crazy kind of packing everything up and moving back to London. So yeah, it hasn't been um, the most exciting content to film i guess just bear with me and i will get straight back into it as soon as we're fully like settled and pa unpacked here uh, i'll be able to get back into videos i want to film some recipe videos and leave some suggestions in the comments of uh what videos you'd like to see because i feel like it's a fresh start being uh in this flat in london um super excited to film the recipe videos but um yeah, let me know what kind of content you want to be seeing and I will see you very, very soon.